Scene one, take 4001, marker. Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the final cut bro. If you are anything like me, you have been syncing your footage the wrong way for far too long. Today, I'm gonna show you the very best way to sync your footage in Final Cut Pro and show you why it's the best way. Now, normally, this is how you would synchronize a clip. You'd select your video and your audio, you'd right click and go down to synchronize and you'd call it whatever and then drag that onto the timeline. But I'm gonna show you why this introduces a lot of problems. If you go through and you make a bunch of edits, you might have realized, oh shoot, my clip is slightly out of sync even though I synchronized it. So I'm gonna have to select the clip, go up to clip, open clip, and so now we see our audio and our video lane here. You'd slide it over a few frames by using the period and comma key. But what happens is now only this one clip that we just jumped into is the only clip that has those changes applied. So now you're gonna have to jump into every single one of these edits to make those changes. It doesn't act like a compound clip where if you jump back in here, if I were to make some crazy color grades here like that, all the edits are only consolidated to this one clip which is really, really annoying, especially if you're trying to work fast. Now you can definitely color grade with adjustment layers, but you also run into the problem of if you have alternate B-roll footage and stuff like that. So this is how you're gonna now synchronize your clips. Select both, right click and select new multicam clip and you can absolutely use the multicam editor for just a single video clip. It doesn't have to actually be multiple cameras. So go ahead, select multicam clip. We'll call it subscribe. And then we can make sure that it is using audio for synchronization and push okay. So now I'm just gonna drop this on the timeline with W and I'm gonna delete that gap clip. What we're going to do, we'll go up to our viewer, go to show in viewer angles. You can also do that with command shift seven. You're going to select this audio waveform clip here and select your audio. And now you can go back to the video editor if you want. So now this entire clip is going to be using the better audio from my recording. If you happen to forget to set your audio source in the beginning of your edit, you just go ahead, bring your playhead above the clip you want to fix, push option, and then click on the audio channel that you want. You can also do it with a keyboard shortcut of option two and just go above each clip and do option two. Or if you wanna do a whole bunch of clips all at the same time, you can select them all and you can disable one audio clip and enable another here in the audio inspector of your video. But this is where things get really, really cool. So imagine I have lots and lots of edits on this clip. It's an interview or something like that. You jump in you can jump in just by clicking on the squares in the upper left hand corner and now any changes I make within this multicam clip are going to apply across the board so let's say I have a gorgeous color grade here I'm really you know I deserve some Academy Awards here there we go we have this amazing color grade and let's say I want to apply some audio effects so I could go in I've got a preset made for my tutorial voiceovers so now this clip has the best audio the most gorgeous color grade and what's great is that has applied it across my entire timeline without me having to paste effects or create adjustment layers or anything like that you can even do stuff like rescaling. So let's say that you're like, oh shoot, this entire video, I had something here in the corner. You just zoom right past it. We'll just jump right in on my teeth there. And now we've got the ultimate video for our YouTube channel. So that is why I use the multicam editor. I hope it is helpful to you. And I hope that you too will add this to your repertoire. If you wanna learn more about multicam editing, I do have this video here. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.